Good morning, everybody. Glad to have you here. Let's jump right into our daily work assignment. Day 35, 81 overall, Thursday, January 7th, 2021. Music today. There's three questions today for our chapter, Danny, uh, of Danny, the champion of the world. What happened at the filling station with Danny and Mr. Hazel? How did Danny's father react to Mr. Hazel? And what did Mr. Hazel apparently do to get back at Danny's father? Yeah, this story's really kicking into gear now. And our two questions about our books that we're reading, uh, your own reading. Who is the main character of your book and what are they like? And list three facts from your nonfiction book. That should not be a period, Mr. B. I mean, it shouldn't be a question mark, Mr. B. It should be a period, indeed. The test for the 10 spelling words is Monday, so be ready for that. And since we've written sentences for all 10 words, try and use our words and your assignments today. The more you use words, the more comfortable you are with them, and they'll just become part of your natural speaking and written language. In commas today, we have uh, a 10 question comma quiz that I would like you to take and let me know how you did. And I left the same Jeopardy games up there. If you didn't get a chance to play those yesterday in your small group. And last day for Little House on the Prairie, day number four. So correct the mistakes there. Don't forget to include pictures in your ancient Mesopotamia wrap up. Um, that makes the you know writing come alive and it makes it more interesting for people to see. I hope, I hope lots of people wanna share uh, tomorrow. And if you're ready, uh, we'll have some sharing today. The Dr. Binox video is long. That's why uh, I've given you all week to look at it, uh, but it really gives you a good foundation for the basics of geography. And it's done in a fun, silly way with Dr. Binox. It's kind of crazy. Always invisible, yet never out of sight. What are they? <laughs> a beggar's brother died, but the man who died had no brother. How could this be? I stand when I'm sitting and jump when I'm walking. Who am I or what am I? The answers to yesterday, an egg, a shirt, and the word wheat becomes heat, becomes eat, rearrange eat into tea. All right, we'll stop the share right now. We'll go into our Canvas page. There it is. All right, again, remember uh, the last day of the second quarter is Friday, January 15th, not tomorrow, but the next week. Uh, next week, we'll be doing wrap up to activities for all of chapter two, including looking at all of our spelling and vocabulary words we've done so far this year. Plus, you'll be working your small groups um, to put something together about the second quarter. Uh, today, um, of course, the video will go there as soon as I'm done and upload it. Uh, there's no funny meme today. We had a um, pretty amazing day in American history yesterday. A very amazing day in American history. And I wanted to remind everybody uh, that we have a constitution and that constitution is a very important document, including the preamble. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense and promote the general welfare and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity to ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America, our set of laws. We are a nation of laws and we are a nation that uh, takes pride in our constitution and living by laws. And the part of the preamble that says ensure domestic tranquility uh, is why I'm putting this up here because of what happened yesterday in Washington, D.C., when a lot of people that were angry about the election stormed into the Capitol building and uh, interrupted the meeting of counting the electoral ballots. Now, I kind of told you back before the election that things would be crazy and it might 
go on a long time and I have, I really honestly never had any idea that it would be this crazy. Um, so I got a little GIF file on the constitution and then a picture of the Capitol building that was stormed yesterday by a lot of people, like I said, that were protesting the election results and thinking that it was all faked and that there was fraud, which has not been shown or proven anywhere. Every court of the land has said that the election was fair and that the election was not fraudulent. Um, but what I really want to point out here is they interrupted a very sacred time period in our history where people, the Congress people, are counting the electoral ballots. And they actually took over the building and they took over the rooms and the senators and House of Congress, House of Representatives, uh, they had to go into hiding and they had to put masks on. And it was a very scary moment. However, to show you how much they care and how much our nation is built on laws, they gathered together that night after the Capitol building was secured and finished the task of counting the electoral ballots and declared that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris were indeed the winners of the election of 2020 and they will be inaugurated as president and vice president on January 20th. So even though as bad as it was, it's actually kind of a proud moment in American history that we cannot be uh, intimidated and that we uh, have leaders that are able to gather back together and not be scared and to do their task and to do their job. And that's what they did last night. And we'll talk more about that in class. See you soon. It's a pleasure being here as your teacher.